Hello everyone and welcome to the Down Under Gamer channel. It is the Down Under Gamer here with episode 6 of our Europa Barbarum Sweebos campaign. Let's play. Uh, so just to recap guys, if you're just joining us here on the channel for the first time, uh, obviously we've started as the Sweebos, um, terrible economy. Uh, we're now doing quite well as you can see. Our settlements are quite prosperous now. Um, and we're just gradually expanding, um, you know, we're building up our military infrastructure and we're expanding in and capturing the, uh, the remainder of these sort of Germanic um, uh, settlements. Um, and then from there we're going to sort of look at, uh, you know, pushing maybe a little further westward uh, into the, uh, the Gallic tribal regions. Um, so uh, that said guys uh if you're liking what we're doing here on the channel then smash that subscribe button uh drop us a thumbs up or if you don't like what we're doing feel free to give us a thumbs down and leave your thoughts down in the comment section um so we've already activated our uh, scripts yes so uh move. we'll just go straight Unable and jump to into it General, forward, unable uh, so to move. This is our main army, yes. and we're coming in here to uh, attack the settlements. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these uh, these skirmisher units in and uh, link them up with my main army. Yes. Uh, the reason being is so that when we besiege it, we can uh, run them up to the walls and obviously um, pepper the enemy with javelins, but they'll, they'll also act as fodder troops uh, so that they can take sort of like the brunt of... Uh, the enemy javelins um, when they return fire so that way our, uh, our main body of troops um, don't get as decimated as much as uh, you know what they did in previous battles um, but apart from that um, you know obviously there's uh, there's a very interesting war going on uh, between the Romani and the Eprits at the moment um, you know the Seleucids have obviously pushed uh, across the Isthmus taken Byzantium so that's certainly going to make a very interesting contention point over here um, apart from that uh, the Alverni and the uh, Aedui are uh, doing what they do uh, and sort of duking it out uh, hoping that they're going to bleed each other and keep each other occupied while we sort of grow and expand and uh, relatively unhindered for the time being uh, apart from that, guys, uh, let's go ahead and end the turn and get the campaign underway. So the year in history, um, Pontus dies, succeeded by his son Mithridates. Um, so this one here, this is actually quite interesting. Um, so a talent at the time, which I think the original Rome Total War is um, traded, everything's done in um, talents, uh, the fine money wise, uh, but these guys have actually broken it down um, quite significantly uh, down to Minar, which I think was just like sort of like a very, very basic one. But if you had like a gold talent, um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it was something like about a hundred pounds of gold or something like that. And that was, um, you know, kind of like today where you have the, the US greenback uh, which is sort of like the world reserve uh, kind of trade currency. The uh, the talent at the time was uh, pretty much, you know, as far as the known world goes, um, especially around the Mediterranean, um, in the Mediterranean powers, the talent was kind of like the the general reserve currency which everyone sort of traded in. Um, you know, you had like an Egyptian talent and a Roman talent and a Seleucid talent and all that sort of stuff. And um, weight-wise, they're all fairly, fairly similar. So when they're doing sort of inter into kingdom or into um, empire trade that's generally how it was done from my understanding so don't don't quote me I could be wrong there but I'm pretty sure that's how it worked oh 
post dribble advances from Lily Bayo to Panama in the early summer. Struble. Also, uh, okay, so we've obviously still got the uh, the pu uh, Punic Wars uh, going on here. Another attuned governor. Uh, can we build anything and not this turn? Uh, so uh, let us continue. Uh, so we've got the Cheruski Swordsman, uh, that will certainly be very interesting opponents. Um, and I think it's the Chatty Spearman, yes. General, attack! Besieging settlement. Settlement under siege. Now that we have that, At your say, let's yes. move the spy down. Those are the Hathanes. They sound very Germanic. Oh, they have freed slaves. That's interesting. On my way. What do we got? More chatty spearmen. Okay. Oh, that will give us a border with them. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, okay, let's end this turn. So we've built our level one uh, government there. So let's go ahead and build some roads. Uh, a bit of extra trade. Uh, now somebody did mention in one of the comments, I think it was at the Total War forums perhaps, um, that we shouldn't really build roads to begin with because the enemy uses it. Um, the thing is, is uh, for me personally, roads I tend to find like obviously they you know, increase trade, like we zoom in here, obviously you can see little trade wagons and whatnot. Um, so that just generally sort of helps increase your economy. Um, I mean, obviously it's up to everybody's individual play style, but me, I, I, I just kind of like roads because um, I understand the importance of uh, having a strong economy. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it's up to individual play styles, guys, so... What we'll want to do is we'll probably wait until next turn, um, so that way we're not fighting in winter, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll have a nice sort of spring battle uh, or a spring sort of siege battle. General. All right, and uh, let's take Attack. a settlement. So again, another crazy uh, nine-star AI general. Um, however, we do comfortably outnumber them, so we shouldn't have any issues here.
Many will go to the afterlife by nightfall. Be sure that you are not one of them. By night, hell will be filled with our foes if I have anything to do with it. Now take up the sword, string your bow. Now we must test our hearts and our courage like men. I must say that um, with this particular mod, the Romans uh, generally uh, um, have the uh, you know, the best sort of intro speeches. Abu, fun fun go! Abu, fun fun go! Hambaram, Amino! Hambaram, Amino! Hambaram, Amino! Locken, Abido, Locken, Abido, Akra! Locken, Abido, 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 Locken, Abido. Tu Gultis, Heru Gulcones. Gala, Abbas. Gala, Abbas. Heru. Locken, Abido, Atra. Speed this up, get these walls down, and get in here and finish this off. Come back, Keltoy, Amro, Akara, Abad, Akara, you good, please. Bas, bas, bas. Edu, give all that time. Edu. Keltoy, Amro, Akara, Akara. Bas, bas, bas.
Boss, boss! Anchor mouse! Hello. Get to you. I'm bro. Get to you. I'm bro. Atra. You good thief. Gala, Avan, Abido, Abra, you good thief! Boss, boss, boss! Peru Brucones! Amino! Hazra! Alpha Tatos! Heru Brucones! Amino! Abido Atra. Alpha Tatos. Heru. Mayrix. Amni Oku. Loken Abido.
So as I expected, those uh, Cherusky swordsmen are actually quite uh, quite strong. Half decent little uh, rebel units there. And there's the uh, the chatty spearmen. Hello. Boss, boss, boss. Need to be ready. Hey, wake up, friend. Hey, 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 boss, boss, boss. Shall rule! Settlement captured! Too bad. Bit of loot. A few slaves. Uh, so there we go. That settlement is taken. So. Uh, and this is a little bit more of a developed settlement, so that's, uh, that's always handy. So we can recruit a few, uh, sorry, reinforce a few of our troops uh, while we're there. Uh, so what we will do, I think, is maybe look at taking this settlement here. Lord. The Lugi. Uh, so I want to um, Morphing uh, into basically position. avoid having Unable a direct to war move. with, uh, you know, Romani or uh, the Alverni or anything um, just at this point in time. Um, I'd like to take a couple more settlements and um, 
you know, really, really build up sort of like that military infrastructure and the, uh, you know, have the economy uh, rock solid um, before we engage in a uh, potential confrontation. Uh, so let's end the turn. Mithridates of Pontes faces many troubles. The Gauls ravage his territories, and those of his ally Heraclea. So Antigonus. Uh, the new consul Claudius built sea barriers at Lilibeo. They destroyed by the waves from only at this point sent out another 10,000 men to provide crews for their fleets. Um, one of the big things that you, you find um, throughout reading through Roman history is like they suffered, like, especially in the early stages of the empire, they suffered massive, massive, massive losses, losses especially, especially during the Punic Wars. Um, but they had just like this inexhaustible supply of manpower coming from mainland Italy, um, which is one of the, I think, or possibly one of the biggest reasons why they just managed to prevail. And why they managed to be end up becoming so dominant. So, um, so let's build out here five barracks in our capital. Uh, we'll build a palisade. Let's uh, build some sanitation. General. Orders, general. Chief, and orders, let's, let's yes, take the army orders, back. chief, general, chief, move out, ambush in place, move out, no more moves. Lord, moving, unable to move. Rhesus. Ouch. So one of the things that was mentioned was these two settlements here, and just looking at the garrisons that these uh, these particular settlements have, I completely understand. Um, but the AOI units here, like these Lugian swordsmen, the Germanic heavy infantry, um, then you know, obviously, if we look at the garrison, and we've got the the Celtic Germanic cavalry, the Gallic, you know, Gallic light cavalry, the Celtic axemen. Um, they're probably going to be invaluable assets to the Germanic armies, especially when we go to war against the Gauls and potential southern neighbours. So what we're probably going to look at doing... These are going to be tough armies to beat, gold chevrons, everything. Um, is possibly look at defeating this army here. Um, and then, uh, you know, obviously we'll... Uh, We'll look at our other sort of expansion options. We might maybe Impossible. come up here and have a little bit of a peek and see what's up there. settlement up here, coastal province. So we'll uh, suss that one out. Let's 
the blacksmiths. Ruskos. Her population's fine. So let's build a level one. General! Forward! Your service on my way. All right, so it's all good. So let's uh, build a granary, get our population going. So we'll come over, we'll take uh, Gintaris Ostan, um, and then from there we'll look at building up to take uh, you know, the, out the Lugi uh, and obviously the boy. Um, and from there we should be in a nice sort of solid consolidated position. Um, and then maybe even look at uh, taking out you know, the Hathanez and then um, starting to sort of expand into like the Nervi, uh, the Volke, all that sort of good stuff. Um, so apart from that guys i'm gonna end this session here um yeah like if you like what we're doing on the channel guys then smash that subscribe button um you know drop a like uh if you don't like what we're doing then like i said uh, feel free to leave me a thumbs down that's totally fine that's totally acceptable um you know and leave your thoughts down in the comment section uh now uh, later today uh i'm going to record my episode uh so if you guys um you know, Rome Total War 2 fans, um, you know, I'm going to uh, start a Let's Play for the DEI mod for Rome 2 Total War, I believe it's the 1.2.3 version uh, of the mod, uh, I haven't decided on which faction I'm going to do yet, um, but I will look at recording the first session of that today, um, so providing the guys allow me to post it over there. Uh, in their forum, uh, feel free to go over there and check it out, um, otherwise uh, check the channel out here. Uh, that said guys, I um, hope you all have an awesome day, uh, this is a Down Under Gamer out, cheers.